Hey everybody, welcome to lesson 13 and since this is, uh, well since next week is pretty short also, welcome to lesson 14. I'll be including the lowdown for each week in both, in, well for, for each week in this week's video. So uh, welcome to both lesson 13 and lesson 14. This week you'll be finishing up the personal essay. You'll give it a final edit and sentence level revision. So you should have the major global revisions done and you can look, really hone in now on proofreading, making sure that things are as you would like them uh, moving toward the end of the semester since this is your final writing project. You'll also be talking about currently or correctly implementing capitalization in your writing. So pay attention to that per usual. We've got the grammar lessons, grammar exercises, etc., etc. Now the reading assignments for the week include two essays and one alternative essay, one uh, just additional if you've got time, one optional if you want to read through that one. One is by Pulitzer Prize winning writer Annie Dillard. It's called On a Hill Far Away. Now this is a meditative essay that just kind of explores her experience walking and talking to a, a young boy. And nothing really extraordinary happens in the essay. Uh, but it, it is about something, even if that uh, that the thing that it's about is not explicitly stated. So just pay attention to that as you read through it for the week. The second one is The Angels May Quote From It by Spencer W. Kimball, in which he talks about the importance of writing in our spiritual journeys and our relationships. Uh, one thing that I really uh, liked in this is, is he talks about as you write things, especially as you write in a journal, you should f truthfully record your real self and not what other people may see in you. Um, I think that's a vital thing when it comes to our writing, that we record our real, record our real selves, our authentic, genuine selves, uh, things that we see in ourselves and our experience, our struggles, etc. And we can write about those things in, in very powerful ways and in ways that can touch other people. Even though the experience may be very specific to us, we can really touch people in universal ways when we address those themes in, in uh, potent ways ways with potent strong language which is uh, another thing that you'll be reading for a different assignment this isn't the writing assignment for the week it's uh, down here for the writing lessons but it's called how to write fiction that feels real and it talks about showing versus telling and now uh, lest you think well why are we reading something about fiction writing fiction when we're not writing fictional narratives uh, but the same techniques that apply to writing a short story also apply to writing a personal essay, a personal narrative. So look through this, look at the techniques of showing versus telling because these are really things that can help you to convey your ideas powerfully to your readers to touch them in ways that you might not otherwise be able to if you're just telling them something. Um, so on that note, so those the reading assignments for the week will lead obviously directly into the discussion board assignment. You've got three different prompts to choose from, each addressing something a slightly different um, in the essays that you read for the week. So pay attention to those and have fun discussing that. And obviously read as many posts as you can and then respond to at least two of your peers by week's end. Um, and really, that's everything that's on the agenda for Lesson 13. You do need to submit your final draft by week's end. So pay attention to that. Be sure you get that in on time. And uh, everything else is per usual. The, the reports that you submit at the end of each week, they will also be due at the end of this week. Now, in terms of Lesson 14, there's only really one main thing that you need to worry about or be thinking about it's reflect upon your learning experience in the course and you'll also reflect on your speaking partner experience and you'll do that through one one assignment that you have for the week you'll do the writing assignment also attend your your gathering and then again you'll do the reports and evaluation at the end of the week so in terms of the main assignment what it's asking you to do is to reflect on your speaking partner experience or on your alternate assignment learning experience um, and it's asking you to look at what you've discovered about yourself. How has this assignment enriched or challenged you? How has it changed your understanding of your own culture? And how you, how will you continue to learn about other others' cultures? Um, and here at the end, you may also want to reflect on the sense of community or connection you felt during this assignment. So in what ways has it helped you 
to understand yourself and others and the world differently. Now, it's just a short reflection, one to one and a half pages, about 250 to 300 words. Uh, so that's that's all you've really got for next week. Um, it's been a good semester. I've appreciated being able to work with you and seeing the growth that, that uh, you've experienced throughout the semester as writers. Um, if you have questions about anything, please do feel free to let me know. My inbox is always open.